Hey masters, welcome back to Joang Media. Today I have a very interesting video about how to use Jenkins and Cypress in order to choose if you want to execute your scripts on Chrome or Edge using parameters. And also at the end of this video, you're gonna be capable to have an HTML report included in the job with the latest results of every single execution. And actually you're gonna be capable to save those results in different folders. So please stay until the end because it's gonna be amazing. So guys, welcome back. And as I'm telling you, uh, well, it is going to be a pretty simple um, example. It is going to be a kind of introduction too, but I hope that you can find it useful. All right? As you can see in this GitHub repository, uh, this is the repository where I have my project, right? The one that we have been uh, working on the last videos. So in this package.json uh, file, as you know, uh, you can create the scripts. Those scripts are kind of, uh, kind of lines, right? That have different parameters. In this case, I have created two of them. I have created one for Cypress Chrome, right? And as you can see, the, the difference here is that we have this browser's flag and, and in this case, I'm using Chrome. But also, if I am using Cypress Edge, I have a different flag over here. It is not Chrome, it's Edge, for, of course, right? Also, I'm specifying that I want to execute my spec which is under this path, right? And uh, basically the difference is the web browser. You can use this logic to implement different situations, right? Um, for example, if you want to have a kind of a script to run your, your scripts on a browser stack or sales labs, I don't know, a lot of possibilities, right? Uh, depending on your needs, create a, a Docker file, I don't know, you, you can do a lot of stuff here. But in this case, uh, we're gonna use a single, um, actually a freestyle project over here. And I'm gonna try to explain you how to achieve that, how to be capable to send parameters to Jenkins um, and actually, well, build your job depending on your needs. So in this case, I'm gonna be creating a freestyle project named, for example, uh, parameters and Cypress, okay? <laughs> hey, let me see, parameters and Cypress, there it is. I can use an ampersand here, so I'm gonna use an and Cypress. There it is. So right now I have created my parameters and Cypress a freestyle project. And well, the first thing that we have to check is this project is parameterized over here. So then you have to click on add parameters and you have different um, kind of parameters, right? But in this case, I'm gonna use a choice parameters, I think. Yeah, that's the one that I want. So uh, in this case, I'm gonna name these choice parameters scripts cause basically the scripts uh, is gonna represent the, the scripts that I have in my package.json, okay? So once I have done that, also I want to specify the choices that I want to have when I execute my build. In this case, I'm gonna use Cypress Chrome and also Cypress Edge over here, there it is. Now we have two different choices, like, okay? Um, the next st the step, or actually, if you want to, you can also specify a description. For example, um, choose where you want to execute your scripts, okay? This is a kind of message that you're gonna have when you click on build, okay? Uh, and actually when you want to, or actually when you have the possibility to choose between the, the both choices that I'm, well, I'm using here, right? It is uh, important that you need to have choices that you have in your package.json, that JSON, okay? Because if, if you don't, it is not gonna work for sure. Once you have done that, well, the next step, I think is use a Git repository in this case. And well, you have to come here and copy and paste the repository URL over here, right? And then um, then specify the, the branch that you want to use. In this case, I'm gonna be using main, as you can see here, right? That's good. Okay, once that you have specified that you're gonna be using a Git repository, in this case, um, well, you need to, um, you don't need to build triggers in this case, if in case you want to, you can do it. You can build it periodic, periodically, or I don't know, if, if the GitHub uh, repository receive a, a commit, you can do it too, or different triggers that you can use, right? But in this case, I'm gonna also be using a build environment option that is, is named color ANSI console output. We need this option if we want to avoid 
uh, weird characters uh, in, in the console lock, in the final console lock. So please use it. I think that this is a, a, a plugin that you need to install. So if you if we come here to the manage Jenkins and check of the of on the plugins and my install environment, you can see that I have this plugin name ANSI Color. Yeah, that's the one that you have to install. But okay, once you have done that, the next step is a, well, use a, a build and add a build step. In this case, I want to use execute Windows batch so I can do it uh, just using npmi because I need to install my dependencies, right? Um, and then I need to uh, run another command and here is the key moment of this video, right? Because we are going to be using uh, the parameters with the name scripts or actually a script. I'm sorry. I'm going to name this, rename this script. Okay. And well, we're going to be using a single line over here, which is npm run and between percentage uh, symbols, we have to name the script bar variable that we have defined at the beginning of the project. Okay. And if I go at the top of this, I also have to do another change. Go to the advanced option, right? Do you, do you see that? And then use a custom workspace over here because we need to do this in, uh, well, in a, in a local, rec in a local folder, right? And in this case, I'm going to be using my repository um, folder and now my Cypress demo framework. So I'm going to copy this directory over here. And here is where I'm going to be working with my project, right? Where we're going to be cloning the repository and doing all this stuff. That's good. Now, uh, I think that I have done everything else and I need to do something else in case you want to uh, have a uh, and a published HTML report in your Cypress or actually in your Jenkins. Okay. So in this case, you also have to install another plugin, which is publish HTML or something like that. Let me see this one, HTML publish, pl uh, publisher plugin. Okay. So in this case, you have to come here and click on add post build action and uh, well, uh, click or select on publish HTML reports. Then you have to click on add button and here, well, you have to specify the HTML directory where, uh, or actually to archive. In this case, as you can see, the path to the HTML report directory relative to the workspace where my reports are going to be generated automatically. So uh, we have to come here to my uh, repository and look where my report is going to be created. In this case, the relative path is going to be Cypress report because we already have uh, defined the workspace, right? In this case is Cypress demo framework. So I don't need to specify the whole uh, workspace again. Okay. You only have to specify the relative one and that's good. Let me check my notes if I am doing something wrong here, but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm sorry for this, but I need to check. <laughs> there it is. I think that I'm doing this all right. So uh, the next step is, uh, well, here in the in the index page or pages, you have to specify the name of the HTML, the final HTML report that you are going to receive. In this case, you're going to have an index, right? Like this one. So you have to specify that that particular HTML, the index one or the name that it has, it could be a report or something like that, that HTML, you have to specify that in uh, in this part of the configuration, right? In the index pages option. There is another trick that I want to show you and you can click on publishing options here and use keep uh, or actually check the keep past HTML reports option. So every single execution is going to have a folder and there you are going to have the HTML report for that particular build. I'm going to try to explain you or actually show you the final result, uh, result in a few seconds. So I think that I have done everything. Please let me see if I am missing something. I don't think so. So I'm going to save this project and I have my project ready to be executed. I'm going to delete inside of my repos a folder. I'm going to delete this folder, the Cypress demo framework, because I don't want to have that. Uh, over here, I want to clone it and check if my job is going to work correctly, right? So um, as you can see in this job, 
we can cl uh, click on build with parameters and now here we have uh, two options if I click on this drop down. The first one is going to be Cypress Chrome and Cypress Edge. Let's imagine that I want to execute uh, this project in, in Edge, right? So I'm going to click on build and as you can see, it is actually working. Um, let's take a look if it is, is going to work correctly. So I'm going to check in the console output. Basically, it has cloned my, my repository in the, my local environment, as you can see here. It is actually running the NPMI. It is installing the node modules. And right now, it, it is using a, well, or actually executing the command Cypress Run Browser Edge, right? And that's the, the right one. The, the, the one that we want to execute. And then also, I want to execute another one in Chrome. So we have both uh, results at the end of this. And I, I also want to uh, well, show you how to look uh, at, the, at the different reports, right, in the, in the folder structure. So let's take, um, well, wait for a few seconds until this is uh, executed and working fine. Let's take a look of the console. As you can see, well, it is uh, executing this first uh, spec, right? Uh, in this case, all, all of my its or scripts are skipped. That's why uh, I have four pendings and that's good. And then we have the another script working fine, right? Uh, they passed correctly. And also we have the another one that also will uh, passed correctly too. And at the end of this report, you can see that we have a kind of a resume or overview with all the tests that are passing and, and failing. And um, well, as you can see here, also another overview of, of what happened. And as you can see, well, it is actually that it was archiving the HTML reports and now we should have a final result over here. So uh, I'm gonna come to the root part of this job, right? The parameters and Cypress project. And I also can click on HTML report and you're going to have the final results over here. That's basically uh, why I, I like to use that plugin that I just showed you, right? And that, that's another thing, right? Do you remember that we configured this to have a, actually this option? Let me show you. In the publishing options, we had keep past HTML reports, right? So, um, let me show you how to um, check that, right? So I'm going to come here to the console output and at the end of this uh, lock, you can see that we have this uh, path over here. So I'm going to come to my to my folder and I'm going to show you that. Let me see why I did something wrong here or oh, there it is. I needed the full path. And as you can see, a uh, wall in the I have two builds right now, right? The first one, which was in Edge, and inside of this folder, we have the final report of that particular build. However, if I go to the second build, also we have another and a separated index with the another results of the Chrome browser. And that's amazing, right? I think that um, there we have other, uh, well, kind of options that are related to the Mocha Awesome reporter. But yeah, that's basically the, the thing that I wanted to show you today. Basically how to build or create a freestyle project using parameters. And I hope that you enjoy it with me. So thank you very much, you guys. I know that this is a kind of tricky topic. But let me know in the comment section if you learned something new, if you want to know uh, well, some kind of detail about what I, what I did that I didn't explain, or uh, well, I'll, I'll be happy to, to actually read all your comments in the comment section. Thank you very much. This was Young Media and see you in the next one. Bye bye.